Welcome to the London Hilton in Park Lane, where a boxer, in partnership with Sky Sports Boxing, is about to introduce one of the most highly anticipated matchups in British boxing history. On February 19th in Manchester, two of the most iconic figures in British boxing will go head to head in your main event. We introduce first from Sheffield, standing five feet nine inches tall, a career 39 victories with 27 of those by knockouts against three defeats. Since his debut in 2004, his accolades include the IBF, WBA, and WBC Intercontinental Welterweight Championship, the IBF, International, and World Welterweight Championships, the WBC Silver, Light Middleweight, and the WBO Intercontinental Light Middleweight Championships. A former British champion, he is known as the Special One, introducing Kel Brook. And we introduce his opponent from Bolton, standing five feet, eight and one half inches tall, a career 35 victories, 21 of those by knockouts against five losses. Since his professional debut in 2005, his accolades include the Commonwealth WBO Intercontinental and WBA International Lightweight Championship, the IBF, WBC Silver, and WBA Light Welterweight and WBA Super Light Welterweight World Championships, the WBC Silver International World and WBA International Championships, an Olympic silver medalist introducing Amir King. Khan. Johnny Nelson, stop filming and start talking to me. We're on a stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm like a fan. I'm just as excited. Uh, you, you just raised your eyebrows there because... I, I did because you've got one guy that is... There we go. Ooh, We've got one guy ring. that is media savvy and we've got another guy that's raw. So uh, we start at the beginning and, uh, and this is what it's going to be like. They might get to the stage where they've got to keep these two apart. Uh, because it's proper, it's real, and people don't understand. No, because that's the question that always gets asked, isn't it? Is this rivalry really real? When when things spill over like that? I've seen it before. I've seen, and we've both seen it before. When yeah. fighters talk about how, how much they dislike each other, so take their seats. I'm for not the press conference. conference. This is this is real. I know personally, and so why this? That's why this fight is going to be special but that also is a factor for both of them that they're going to have to keep in check aren't they yeah, not they let emotions spill over and like we were just talking before we, th we threw to the introductions there about what's at stake here it's it's more about who can deal with losing because that is going to be so brutal play on your mind and that's forever and this is why it's so sensitive this is why it's so touchy uh because it's not just about getting in a ring with each other eventually who's better than who it's bragging rights remember both of these guys have got to walk through their own ta hometowns you know both of these guys have got to have people forever forgetting about all the success that they've had through their career and talking about this fight and so it could blitz everything they've achieved and everything and everything they've done this fight well i'm glad it's adam sat in the middle there and not us let's <laughs> let's see what happens hand you over to adam smith
A wonderfully warm welcome to you all on this chilly afternoon as we fire up our sport by confirming the British blockbuster, the acrimonious duel that so many sports fans have been waiting for year after year is on. Finally, the green light for two of our finest modern gladiators and former world rulers, the Olympic star, fast, talented and popular Amir Khan on one side, and Kel Brook, the supremely gifted, hard-hitting, Winkerbank treasure on the other. There is, ladies and gentlemen, no love lost. There is no certainty as to who will win. There is immense pride and firepower on the line, and quite simply, after all their boxing triumphs over the years, this is the fight at night which both Amir Khan and Kel Brook will be remembered for. February the 19th, in the electric Manchester Arena, live on Sky Sports box office, stand by for a roller coaster as we find out, all of us, all of us fight fans, once and for all, if it's Khan or if it's Brook. Let's get straight to the fighters. Kel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. When the fight was finally signed, after you've chased it for so, so long, what were the emotions? Adam, you know how long this has been going on. Me and him, 17 years this, is, this has been talked about. Even the negotiations, it's, it's been unbelievably hard work. You know, it's on, it's been off, it's been on, it's been off, but... You know, finally got it across the line. I'm, you know, I'm ecstatic that the fans are going to see this fight, what, what they've wanted to see for years. And I'm just sick of people coming up to me saying, when are you going to fight? And when, you, when is it happening? Now, we're, we've got a date, February 19th in Manchester. And that's when uh, Amir Khan hits the deck for the final time. Tell us why there is such bitterness, such hatred, really, through the years. It started from as original promoters back in the day. You know, we've always we've always had it that we're going to be fighting each other. You know, but um, he's always seemed to veer off. He's never given me no respect. He's never acknowledged me. You know, he's never. You know, he's saying fight this guy and I'll fight you. If you win a world title, I'll fight you. He's always run away, and I think it's come to you know this this part of his career. You know, where there's nowhere else for him to run. You know, so now he's, he, he wants to fight. He's got no, he's got, this is the biggest fight out there for him. The biggest money fight. And there's nowhere else for him to go. So this is when, this is when we get, this is when he wants it now. So it's been so frustrating for me. I've been wanting this for, for, for many years. Amir, have you been running? Have you been ducking him? Have you got no respect for uh, Kel Brook? I mean, the respect's there. You know, I respect him as a fighter. I'm, I'm never been... In the, in the last, in my last 10 fights, if you look at them, in the last 10 years, I fought two of the best pound for pound fighters. Maybe got beat, but still, yeah, I'm fighting the best out there. Um, never ran from Kel. Never needed to. Obviously, um, what I've achieved in the sport speaks for itself. And, um, but look, we're here now. There's no point crying about the past. I mean, at that time, in the past, I didn't think he deserved the fight. But now it's come to a stage where I'm waiting to Give him a good shot right in the face, you know what I mean? I want to want to put him in his place. I mean, that's what it's all about. End of the day, you know, all that talking he's been giving, all that big talk he's been saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Come Feb 19, you know, it's going to be time to see what he's going to do and what he can, how, how he's going to back them words up. Why don't you think he's deserved this fight? I mean, you shared a ring many years ago when you were both in young England. You've obviously known his quality. Why, why not give him a fight till now? I mean, look, it's like I'm coming levels down taking this fight. I fought the best around the world. I've conquered America. And for me to give the British fans this fight, I am coming levels down because every, you know, people want to see this fight. People want to see me punch him in the face. And that's what they're going to In boxing. But it's my time now to put him in his place and hopefully move on to bigger and better things. Former world champion, you've done so much for the sport, Kel, but levels and levels below? Well, you know, he's in Kukuland. You know, I think he's, 
He needs to go back to believe, you know, believing he's a celebrity, you know, and he, could, you know, he went on. I mean, being a celebrity is one that, thing. Listen, I know, but be, being a, being you're a getting like knocked clean I mean, out. I can't wait. This well, is listen. my first fight, this fight. Forget all my, yeah, forget listen, my legacy. Forget, forget the fight. You know, you know, this, fight. You know, I am going to knock you see, spark out. We'll see what happens I'm going to knock night. you spark out. We'll see, we'll you're see getting it. You're it's getting it. You. It's easy to talk a big game. It's easy to talk a big game. Yeah. And you know when he keeps saying... I just speak louder than words and you believe watch what happens to you. You're very big. I'm look over you and tell I told you, Mia. I'm going to look over and you knock spark out and say, I told you. I told okay. you, levels finish. below you. Finish, you finish. I mean, you always have that bitterness in you that, oh, you're living a celebrity life because, you know, what, what, what's got me to this celebrity life is my performances, my, the way I am as a fighter. It as started a boxer. from the early days, from the amateurs, sport. you know. That's getting, what got me to no. this position. You know what I mean? So if I was a bad boxer, if I wasn't good, I would have been in this position. I, I mean, said that you're bad, of but what like, I've done in the sport, you know what I mean? So it seems to me you're just very bitter on that side. Not I mean, you know, you you've got me no respect. You've never acknowledged me saying, oh, who is Cal Cook? I've heard you say, who oh, is that many years ago? You Listen, know exactly who I am. Are you going to know, know, you know, know because I'm going to retire you? We know, we know, you we don't. know what you've done. Listen, you're half retired now anyway. Yeah, you know what, what are you? Make sure what are you? Fully you're finished. So don't give, start giving the bigger ones now. But look, end of the day, you will see on Feb 19. You ain't going to do shit. I'm telling you, you're not going to do shit. Trust me. You give it the big talk. You reckon? You give it the big talk, but like I said, we'll see what happens on the night. But like... You better get in that gym and start training. You look well overweight as, it, as you are now. You need to lose some pounds there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, we, we're fighting in 12 weeks. 12 weeks. I'll be ready. Don't you worry. A no, little bit less than that. 10. Wait. Listen, 10. So get the data right first. Because that, I don't want you to pull some out of pull, pull the bag and say, oh, you know what? I can't wait. What not? But look, 147 was the way it wanted. You still didn't, no, you still complain. You still complain making There's no title, there's no title a, on the line. So regardless of titles, we are both 147 well fighters. So if you are that good, why, do you, why does it need to be a weight? Why does it need to be a weight? Why because me, you we are title on the no, line? No, no, because why we do we need to meet world's weight? Fighters, why do we need to meet? Why do we need to come down to these weights? Why? Why? Because there's no title on the line. You're trying to corner fighter. it. You're trying to corner you've it. You've so said you you've advantage. said numerous times, Amir, I will come down to any weight to fight you. You said that, and I and I posted it on my Twitter, but you didn't. You 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 were complaining about making one four seven, but me. Obviously, giving the British people the fight we're that agree, they want. I said, no now. problem. I, I, if you I, want to go at one four nine, no problem. I bent over back with your demands. Your, you know, coming out second. It's you, you, yeah, you. But listen, yeah. listen. Just, just, just to get you in the ring. You got the fight. You got the fight, you got the fight uh, didn't you? Eh? You got the fight, didn't you? You got the fight. Listen, like I've come, I'm coming levels down to fight you. Remember, <laughs> that? I'm coming levels down to fight you. You reckon? Hundred percent, I am. You reckon? Yes, I am. What, from Billy Dib? What do you mean? Yeah. Oh, oh, what do you mean? Levels listen, down. You know, you mean the Billy Dib fight? How many times just for you, you guys, you, spark you, out. Listen, just, just for, just to Billy Dib fight. I'm telling you, look, you would not have said no to that. When you're getting offered you 10, you, 10, 10 million quid Billy, for a fight against Billy Dib, who's going to say no to 10 million quid? You're going to for a confidence booster. Listen, who's going to say no to? I'm a price fighter. Look, the featherweights have not been like Gomez put you down, dude. I'm a price fighter. When I'm done whiskers, I'm a price brown. You got knocked out by a jab. You got knocked out by a jab by Crawford. I'll speak to Crawford. Well, you pussy, you don't start giving me the big we'll ones. Get that Buy a job. You look for a way out, quit in that fight, you. Man, you got knocked out by a job, so start, stop giving me well, the big ones. I like it, I love that press, we'll see, I listen, love we'll watching see that press. We'll see what you do on February 19th. Well, listen, start, there's no point giving the big ones now. You, you know, everyone can talk. Socially, uh, that's when fights are going to get wound up. And, and again, I've seen so many fake um, rivalries. This ain't fake. I was about to say, because before the press conference... The tension in here was palpable. And me walked in with a swagger, a cool swagger. Yeah. And Kel looked at him and, and it was somebody trying to, to dominate a situation before it even started. And we sensed that. That's why I raised my eyebrows and Kel sensed that. So we had to step up to say, no, 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 this is, this is my party. So these two, you've got two egos that are in there that believe they are the best. No matter what he said or done. Well, Kel said himself. He's going to spark him out, but Amir thinks he's coming down levels. You've got to say things to, to, to each other to try and get into each other's skin. So he's got to, un, he's got to disrespect, undermine, um, get it in his head to think, you know what, you're in with a better fight. You've got to say these things. Not giving it too <laughs> long on that one. You know what, this, <laughs> this, this is... Uh, I, I miss this kind of atmosphere, I miss this kind of vibe and energy.